What's up guys, it's your boy Jimeka here. Coming at you with another deck tech. This is uh, my season six storm list. Um, in season five, we kind of missed out on Tendrils of Agony. Um, it's really sad. I still tried to storm. If you kind of think about it, the storm intelligence deck was basically a storm deck. If you kind of think about it. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, sorry. So, but, the, but the, the thing when we were going through the rotation party, the two key cards we're missing from uh, making Storm a really great deck, which is Frantic Search and Treasure Cruise, which are really big staples throughout most of uh, Penny Truffle's history. Except last season, Frantic Search was actually not legal, so it's not it's also not legal this season. Treasure Cruise is actually not legal this season either. So uh, the thing is, is that we still got Tendrils back. We also got another awesome card, Jace's Sanctum back, and Lockup was still back around. And you've got like most of like things that are going on, and um, it's kind of doable. Cause not really. I went I, my first one of my first lead decks. I did have storm deck. Went four and one, and then people started copying the list and they started going like one and four, and just like doing awful. So just kind of here with my updated list and just trying to show you guys maybe how to do it, maybe not. I don't know. I've been telling people how this deck is not actually viable, but it is fun because it's for me when I play this deck, it's just like a big puzzle. And you're just kind of like. Figuring out new pieces as you go along. When you start going off, it's a, just a weird... There's no, like, direct path. Like, in traditional Storm decks, where it's like, alright. Cantrip, cantrip. Ritual, ritual, ritual. Here we go. Because most of the times, they're, like, spells are... You don't have a lot of rituals. There's only four Cabal rituals. No Dark Ritual anymore. So, but, but let's just go through the deck real quick. Um, four Tap Lands is a lot. 19 Lands is a lot, too. But I'm playing white, because I have a Cyber card in white, which you can see over there. Uh, nine islands, two swamps, four waterville caverns. You always want untapped lands, and you want dual lands. So these are just the best bet. You know, eventually you'll burn us on turn two anyway, so it's not a big deal. I've never had really problems with it. Uh, fighting black man is kind of hard sometimes, but I think like ten is enough sources. Uh, Locket of yesterday's um, makes all your spells uh, cast less. The more you cast them, so it's really good with like take inventory. It's a good like one drop to start, and the best the best trick to have it is like you have one in play and one in your graveyard. You have the two logs that you cast for free, so that's really important. Repeal sort of the um, kind of just like um, what's the word I want to use? Interactive spell. It's kind of good. You can just repeal your own logs and just like kind of like um, you know, <laughs> just kind of like deal with some threats that are randomly there. There, there's a, we actually had a shortage of two drop spells. Sometimes I'd, I'd play like Peer Through Depths or like strategic planning, things like that, but we're actually at a shortage, so we kind of need some like sort of reactionary spells. Uh, speaking of two drop spells, we have Anticipate, uh, Nagging Thoughts, Take Inventory. They all do different things. Take Inventory is basically the most broken card in this deck when it's the drawing. When you get like a Sanctum or a Locket going, this is one mana draw three or draw four, which is really good. Even draw two is fine. So they get better in multiples. It's just like the human knowledge for sorcery speed. Bagging thoughts kind of fill, kind of fuels lock a little bit, and it's just like a two mana cantrip. Also has madness, so if you're kind of discarding it with like compulsive research, you can get like value out of that. Anticipate looks at the most cards. Um, it just you know looks at three, gets you one. It's good when you need it. Finally, a cabal ritual. It's like you know if you saw my season two storm list, I was season two storm list. I've actually done without this card. But again, I had Frantic Surge. So this card is actually really important when you're going off. Because you just need like a burst of mana. And you don't have Frantic Surge to do that. To help you out. And the threes, you have a single call to mine. This is kind of a utility catch-all. It's always, you can always see that in all my storm lists. Uh, the best thing to get back is probably like a free spell, like Turnabout. Or just like a Tendril. Sometimes you just like have enough mana where you only storm like five, you have the Tendrils, and you just call to mine Tendrils again. And that's it. That's the game. Coastal Research, I have a four of in this deck, just because I'm short on the two drop spells. I need like something to really dig and find some of uh, the key cards. Pieces, I initially had four, I went down to two, because I hate this card. <laughs> I actually just don't like it. I've, I've, I've just whiffed on five lands all the time. I would like, pieces, five lands, boom, that's it. Uh, Jason Sanctum, kind of makes the deck tick. It makes all your, makes all your draw spells just way better, and just... The scry one, once that gets going, when you untap, if you don't have like a draw spell, or if you do have a draw spell, you're pretty much gonna win, I think. You'll just like dig into enough more stuff. Like, when you pieces and this out, you get two mana look at six. 
That's like, that's nuts. That's so nuts. Turnabout is pretty much, I think, the only reason this deck can actually work. Because it's the only free spell in your deck. And also it makes mana. It doesn't draw any cards like Frantic Search, but it does 2 out of 3. Because making mana, it's not like the most efficient way to make mana. Because let's say in like turn 4 you drop a Sanctum. And then you don't make another one drop on your next turn. Turnabout makes a mana, which is good. It's not great. But um, it's just what you need. And it's also good at stalling. Maybe you um playing as a blue deck. And if uh end of their turn you just tap them out. And if they counter it, then well, that's that's whatever. They lock they're down a counter spell, they're probably down like three mana. If they don't counter it, well they're tapped out, and then you can just kinda of do what you want. It also taps on creatures. For the most part you want to untap your own lands. That's the really important part. And tendrils is our kill condition here. I love this card. <laughs> that's it. Sideboard, uh silence. Also for Counterspell decks, also good against Hypergenesis. They uh, start to go off. If they cast a Cascade spell, the Cascade trigger goes to stack, you just silence them. And then they're forced to just not cast uh, Hypergenesis. Uh, also, you can just like, when you're trying to go off in your turn, you just silence them first. Maybe you don't have the turn about yet, you just silence them. Okay, counter it or not. If you counter it, you're adding Storm, and you might not have more mana for another Counterspell. But it's just good enough that it's good enough for the White Splash that it's got a unique enough effect. Curious of uh, I know people always ask, well, why is this in your deck? Well, you need outs to Memoricide. Sure, you can counter Memoricide, but that's kind of a hard task sometimes. You always want to be ta using mana in certain ways. Homunculus is kind of my hedge towards like Memoricide decks, and like just decks in general that can't kill it. For example, green decks is really good against green decks. You gotta beat down, it adds mana quickly, and then beats down really quick on the flip side. Um, it's a pet card of mine, for sure. I definitely won a lot of matches, tournaments with this with this card. So I love this card. It's just like the way to like flip flop your plan when you um, go into sideboard games, especially if you think they have some sort of a more side effect or just like ways to like negate tendrils. So this is just a really important thing, and it's, I think it's really important to have that in a lot of different combo decks. That you just have an alternate game plan to how your opponent is going to deal with you. And this is my answer to it. Uh, Whelming Wave. Uh, is this for all the uh, creature cards? Uh, Soldiers is really big. Just like, you know, small creature decks. Heroic. Pretty good heroic. You know, you just kind of want like a 4 mana quote unquote wrath. Uh, Temple Fisher. Good against the mid-range decks. Sometimes you when you storm off, you kind of just need to like stall for more time. Fisher does that really well. It just bounce a little lands and then in like two turns probably just go off again. I have a labor of the heart, kind of a replace for Addle. Addle is actually not legal, but this is actually a way better um, sort of Addle. Because it gets everything that's not legendary. But I'm not sure what a legendary card to be afraid of. Uh, when Ixlin comes out, hopefully Duress comes back, and I'll just like jam for Duress. Like, uh, forget this card, you know? I would just play Duress. Duress is going to be amazing if that shows up. So, yeah, that's a Storm deck, you know? I've jumped into a league, so. All these games are gonna be league matches, and you know, maybe maybe Storm is good, maybe it's not. It'll definitely take some decks, but if I and this is fair, I played tons of Storm decks throughout every season of Penny Dreadful, so I kind of know how this goes. This is kind of my own build, so I just kind of know how the things are. But I would tell to you if you're trying to pick up this deck, practice. You're not gonna get it right the first time. Don't get discouraged. You just have to like go through the motions of just like. What knowing what to find in what situation, but you gotta practice. And that's that's the key. I just like you'll see me barely get the ten because I just like not, like ringed every resource, you know, just kind of like kind of like pulled it all together. But yeah, it should be fun. I love Storm. I love playing Storm. So yeah, let's uh, get dive right into some matches.